Hey, I'll give you a good example is uh, Dan Powell, who's a producer, Comedy Central. Mm-hmm. And back when Rachel Dolezal came out, remember her, Rachel Dolezal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, she fucking. The, There's uh, a new the, one now, too, you know. Yeah, that check. She yeah. said, I'm tra- the, this guy, Nuka Zeus, online, you uh-huh. should see, because he actually gets tan injections. Oh, really? Yeah. And um, yeah, and, it, and I'm like, I thought it was hilarious because I'm like, she said she's transracial. And like, you, there's no, you don't have a good argument why you can't be transracial, but be trans. And I remember Dan like, come on. Like his argument is like, I should just know. Okay. And so I think like, well, what is it I'm just supposed to know? Oh, this is the thing we're all saying. <laughs> that this is great. And you should just know that you're just going to make someone upset. That's when you get that bullshit of when, uh, who's the guy? Adam ruins everything. He fucking yeah, yeah. sucks. But when he's on Rogan. Adam you know, Conover. Yeah, and he was talking about, uh, you know, Rogan got flack, which I love him for not giving a shit about, but he got flack because he said, it's not that trans women can't compete, it's they should disclose it in a combat sport that they're trans. Like, right. the woman should have the option to be like, which like, you should have the option to be like, all right, I don't know if I want to have sex with you because I, that's your, they should have the option. So Adam, Adam fucking said some dumb shit. This is how they all argue. He goes... He goes, well, you know, I talk to so many trans and they say, hey, that they're talking about giving kids hormones, you know, right. and he goes, a lot of trans friends that are actors telling me that little kid was me. And then I wouldn't have the presence of my say Rogan goes, well, the, it's not them. It's a separate kid. Like, it's not. Wait, wait, I'm, I've lost you. I, I lost you. I don't, I, I, I don't you know, when they talk about like giving kids hormones. Yes. At, below a certain age. Yeah. Five and shit. And and so Adam's saying, well, so many trans people I know say that little five year old was me. Everyone's like, no, that five year old's a separate person. They're not you. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So they're trying to broad stroke. Broad. He's trying to do this horseshit fake solidarity they all do. That's what activists. Do. And then uh, he did his move out of the out of the thing was to go. Well, we're not trans. We shouldn't be talking about this. Like that's the little like bitch move of those arguments. Well, that's, that's like you get God, uncomfortable. That's like, that's like God works in mysterious ways. Like you want to argue the existence of God on a logical basis until you have your back to a corner and then you go, right. you God, just want to well, be right. You, I, yeah, yeah. I think it's, you just want to be right and be with the good people. And once the questions get uncomfortable, it's time. Cause this is what they taught us. Joe's witnesses. Like you're supposed to guard your mind. And as soon as it gets uncomfortable, a conversation, it's time to pull the fuck out. Like if it's threatening your beliefs, you got to get out. And I watch people do that. Just really? And that's and, taught. Yeah, that's. Fu- I was told there's no gray. There's only everything's black or white as far as morals. If it's gray, it's black. You know, like I literally took stupid lessons as a kid. So, right, right. The like, especially now, I see that. That's why I say like all these people that are like supposedly secular atheists. I don't think they're qualified. A lot of them to be that. Like, I'm. If I wanted to be an atheist, I'm qualified because I understand what it is. I'm getting away from right. like these people, especially if they're not raised in a religion, they do not fundamentally understand religion. They filter it through whatever lens. So if they're political, that's where you get all this shit about like, you know, Islamophobia is a form of racism, which it's right. not, but that's a political move to equate it like anti-Semitism, which by the way, should cover Islamophobia because they're Semites. But yeah. that's the, that's the move is marketing PR. Like people understand racism is bad. I associate with this thing. It's not technically correct, but the greater good, <laughs> Well, uh, it, well so. here's the here's the the honest thing about this it, is because if you really so, we you know, um, the 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 three principles of man school is authenticity, credibility, and empathy. Yeah. A tell that's the truth. Crazy, I think that's great. And tell the truth. Mean what you say. Say what you mean. If you say you're gonna do something, you do it. If you say mean, be accountable to yourself and what comes out your mouth, and have the empathy to see the kind of pain and stuff that other people are going through to see what take that into consideration you, in your decisions. Do you know? Uh, I don't know if you remember this, like, because I used to see these like arguments, like, you know, like if somebody's like racist online when they would have their shit about, uh, you know black males have more testosterone it used to make me laugh like you'd have these like racist people that um black guys have extra testosterone and it makes them aggressive they almost sound like feminists they have it makes them aggressive and they that's that's uh like i'm a white guy so i'm the porridge that's just right i'm the baby bed <laughs> but in, when they study how testosterone works that's not in animals they have excess you know what it does mostly it makes it makes animals more fair like in chimpanzees. Oh, okay. Really? It actually makes them more fair with each other. Okay. 
That's not what. So more it's not logical, just like, more logical, more 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 across the board. I guess it's I just guess. more like like mm -hmm. and and if you think about it, like because you always had that great thing about like um, the benevolent king thing of not having yeah. someone into the earth once you. Right. You know once I mean? you once you have right. once you once you've made your point and you've established a, a even I wouldn't say dominance, but just your own personal boundaries. Just dominance over yourself, and no right, one's right. no one's yeah. gonna tell. Like, which is what's fair. You man, school two o two. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.